Hi, welcome to Arch Merged GNOME system. We're talking about extensions and not the standard ones, but uh, the ones that I'll need that I will install after a clean installation. And there are already two in there. Um, the rest is just your personal preference. And if you want to keep it a stable system, since extensions do tend to complicate things that work sometimes against each other, GNOME versions get updated, extensions do not get updated and things like that. So what I, did I install already? I installed already this one, App Indicator Support, which provides me with this nice drop-down for variety. And I installed also Dash to Dock, which then provides me a plank-like uh, dock here, and it's actually the Dash. Meaning, if sorry, if I just say get rid of this here, then that's the normal look. And now it's becoming more like plank just saw already there are a lot of settings in here but I've gone over them in another video so take a look at them it's interesting to tweak and make it transparent and corners and all that all right um, I'm gonna make in this video an overview of um, what you need to know about extensions and then we're going to install several more what do you need to know about extensions if you go to one of the browsers, doesn't matter which one, of course, um, but go to GNOME extensions. All right. So we have this extensions.gnome.org. Well, first of all, let me show something very strange. If you followed one of my tutorials previously, then we see in here on the top here something purple. And it says install browser extension and that's this thing up here so that's the browser extension working and because of that installed extensions this is showing what i have on my computer this is saying that one this one is active it's on and if you want to delete it you can delete your extens extensions from the browser i let it sink in yeah, the same here, off and on, settings, and remove. And any of these things can be done like so. All right, what happens to these things? Where do they end up? They end up in a place on your system. Uh, let's open up my home in a new window. I'm gonna need this later. Let's make it again a similar look as before, like so. So, where do they end up? Control H. We have always two possibilities on our Linux system. There is a .config, where it should look, and a .local, where it should look. And in local share and then GNOME shell, we find the extensions. So we have this one and we have that one. That's the two we have installed. So, basically everything there is, that can be changed or that's going wrong, it should be in here, it should be changeable in here, it should be written in here. All right, so that's in the local share. So, activating in here, on the website as well, activating, deleting, changing, changing here as well, buttons you can press. And I want to show that in, for instance, I don't think I've done it in Chromium, Let's see, because it's quite important. And of course, again, we're not sure what will happen if there are new browsers coming in and what these extensions in these browsers, uh, if they will work, continue to work. So I'm hoping to have the purple thing here. Voila. To control GNOME shell extensions, use this site, etc., etc. Click here to install browser extension. And then you say add extension. I've done that now to Firefox, to Vivaldi, and to Chromium. And if we wait a little bit, you should probably see none of, no text anymore. So that's okay. And we have, I don't know, Pomodoro. There are lots of things you can look for. Uh, I don't know, wallpaper. Let's type wallpaper, see what we get. Wallpaper changer, pattern wallpaper, Google wallpaper, any of these things can be just installed by clicking here on on and off. First, I will take a look at the website and see what it provides. Maybe a picture, something 
I could find is going to get the wallpaper. So wallhaven, so fine, and it's going to be, and that's installation instructions, but we don't need out those. We just say on and off. We have the wallpaper changes, never installed it, just the lucky, lucky, um, or unlucky, we'll see. Here is the wallpaper, next wallpaper, and this is my beautiful wallpaper that I have now. It's in here somewhere, so we, it's always a good idea to close up and to open up the tweaks again, and then reload the extensions. So, this is the one, wallpaper changer and basic settings, folder, 30 minutes, changing provider settings. Aha, <laughs> it's coming from the user share backgrounds. And guess what Eric did? I hate those uh, wallpapers. So you, you know them by heart, you know, it's always the same wallpaper. So I deleted this thing. Um, I guess I still have my arch merge. I hope so, otherwise, we are doomed. So next wallpaper, there you have it. So it's coming now from our own wallpapers. So it, it is what it does, it says what it does. Then you point to your own wallpaper folder on your home folder and uh, that's it. And just change whatever you want. So that's how it works. Let's make a complete circle. We go to the local. Share, Chrome Shell, Extensions. Well, he's right, it's there. So the wallpaper changer is here. Now deleting can be done here as well, but as you saw earlier on, let's see what happens. If we go to the website again and say off, you can't delete it here, but you say installed extensions. And then scroll for wallpaper. Changer. Here's the button, uninstall. It's uninstalled in the browser, and yes, it's uninstalled on your system. So that's all about how these extensions work. Next time, let's have fun figuring out and testing some of our selection of extensions. All right.